Hi everybody, this is going to be a short video tutorial which will show you how to make your URLs search engine friendly when using Typo3. Uh, by default, Typo3 has an index.php file and an ID parameter as the query string. What we want to do is take that part of the URL and replace it with just normal plain English taken from the page header. So for example, we would change the URL for the about page to the word about. So it's quite easy to do this. So if we go back into Typo3, it takes about three steps. The first of which is to install an extension called Real URL. So we need to head into the extension manager. And then we need to search and download this extension. So if we go to the Get Extensions tab, and then search for real URL, all one word. Okay, so here's the one we want here at the top. Click the icon to the left here to download and install it. Okay, so it's saying the installation is successful. We can now enable this feature in our template. So if you click on the template module here on the left, And then click on home. And to enable this feature, you're going to need to make sure that you're in the constant editor part of the module. And the category we're interested in is the template configuration category. There are two options we need to enable here. First of all, we need to enable real URL to begin with. So click the edit pencil and check the box to do that. Then we also need to configure the base URL for, of our website. Now the base URL is basically the path to our web pages. So if you click edit there and take everything up to the forward slash in your URL, We're also going to need the HTTP colon forward slash in there too. So that's complete. We can now save those two properties by clicking the disk icon here at the top. Okay, that's the second step done. We've got one last thing to do. In order for this feature to work, We need to enable the HD access file in our Typo3 website's root directory. To do that, just remove the underscore from the beginning of the file and the default settings will be set. All that does is enable the mod expires module which real URL relies on to work. So now we've done that, we'll just be safe and clear all the caches to make sure no configuration options are hanging over from before. And let's see. And now let's see what our URLs look like. So I'm just going to reload the page here. Okay, and now I'm going to click on About.
you can see that we have a real page path now. And that will work all the way down the tree. So now if I click examples and view our sitemap page, <coughs> you can see that a page hierarchy is being built up in the URL as well.